What's up, Libra? Hey, baby. Hey, honey buns. Happy Wednesday, Libra. What's going on with y'all? I hope you guys are feeling well. Thank you, Libra, for being here. Thank you for all your love and support. Welcome back, those of you that's returning. Welcome if you're new and you decide to join us for the first time. We welcome you. We all welcome you. I'm happy to have y'all all here with me. Libra, what's going on with you, honey buns? We about to see what's going on in the energy for you guys. Um, this is a general collective reading for the zodiac sign of Libra. Everything you hear may not necessarily be for you. Please use your discernment, okay? Take only what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. Do not force it if it's not your message, okay? Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. All right, any way you have Libra in your chart, you may actually find that this message resonates with you. All right, so it's just up to you. Use your discernment. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know how this goes. Uh, shout outs to all the masculines out there that watch tarot, that's watching this reading today. Um, this message is for you too, baby. You know, I know I may say she, her, feminine, masculine. We all, we all carry masculine and feminine energy. So just apply the genders, apply the roles. Apply the pronouns as you see fit, okay? So, if I'm saying she, her, but it's really a he, him, they, then so be it, okay? All right, y'all. Happy hump day, Libra. Happy Wednesday. We slap dab in the middle of the week. I hope your week is going good. So far, so good, Libra. I hope so. I hope so. And if not, I hope that things turn around for you quickly, okay? I hope it turns around for you sooner rather than later. Libra, what's up, honey buns? What's up? All right. That incense smell good. I got a, um, what is it called? Mango mint? Mm-hmm. Smells really nice. There's this guy that sells incense, um, and he's just, he's so sweet. Like, we always talk to each other. Every time I walk past him, he say, good morning, good night, good afternoon, whatever. And I used to buy, like, um, sage and stuff like that from him. But the other day, I decided to buy some incense that he always be burning. And it smells so good. It's called Mint Mango. It smells really It smells really nice. This is actually my second time buying incense from him. But this one in particular, the Mint Mango, I feel like this is his signature scent that he likes. That he always burns outside. And this shit smells so good. Mint Mango. It smells so good, y'all. Um, but all right. Enough about the incense. Libra, let's get into your message. Let's see what's going on in the energy for you guys. Um, yeah, let's just see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. Oh, yeah, by the way, happy November. I feel like I didn't even say happy November. I was so excited when October um, rolled around. I feel like I didn't even tell you guys happy November. Oh, yes, I did. I think I said happy November in the community tab. But I didn't actually tell you guys happy November in y'all messages. So, happy November, Libra. Um, all right. Let's see. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no. Holy Spirit and angels of the highest white light. What messages do you have for the zodiac sign of Libra? What is going on with my beautiful and handsome divine Libras? My kings and queens. What's going on with Libra? Holy Spirit and angels of the highest white light, I ask that you cover, shield, protect me as I channel this energy for Libra. All right. I also ask that you cover, shield, protect the viewers that are watching this for their highest good. Any negative energy being directed towards me, my channel, and or my viewers shall be reflected upon its rightful owner immediately. No weapon formed against us will ever prosper or evil eyes shall go blind. In Jesus' name, amen. I say amen. Holy Spirit and angels, block out any negative energies want to interfere with the accuracy or the delivery of this message. What do you have for Libra? Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no Libra. Let me get two more shuffles for you, Libra. Strength card, five of cups in the reverse, the chariot. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Somebody hit over it. They plans failed. Mm-hmm. Somebody was codependent on making something happen. 
and they plans failed. This person could be a Cancer or air sign like you. Somebody here could be a Cancer. Somebody here could be another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But somebody here is over it. Somebody plans failed. They over it. They over it. Somebody here could have been wanting to attach to you, Libra, for all the wrong reasons. They over it because the cycle closed out. I feel like this is somebody that's an opportunist. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is somebody that's not genuine. They don't have genuine feelings. They didn't have good intentions. And this person was planning to connect with you or attach to you in some way. Um, but it, it didn't work out in their favor. You may not be interested in this person. Or you may not just, you may not even trust this shit. So good for you, Libra. I feel like you made a good judgment call. This person is really upset though. They really fucking mad. Like some like somebody here is actually really upset. Um, yeah, they mad. Five of Pentacles. This person they you know what you know what it is too, Libra. You may be coming into some sort of success, or you could just be extremely successful right now. Take it as it resonates. And it's like somebody here could have been wanting to connect to you because of that. And, you know, they, they got played. This person was going to try to play in your face, but they got played. Ultimately, they got played. This is somebody here that's upset. They could have been working together with multiple people here to, to try to get this to um come about. Yeah, this person is like, damn, like, it didn't work. Like, Libra, Libra ain't even fucking talking to me or... This is mad funny. This is so funny that this came out today. <laughs> this is hilarious, y'all. Libra, you know who this is. Whoever this message, whoever message this is, y'all know who this is. This person is like in the Ten of Swords now because you're avoiding them. Or somebody that put them up to connecting with you was in the Ten of Swords because you're avoiding this person that they was trying to send to you. Somebody here could be a Capricorn, a Cancer, an Aquarius, another Libra. Somebody here could have Gemini in a chart as well. I'm getting fellow air energy. I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm getting Capricorn and I'm getting Cancer. Somebody thought that they was, somebody here thought that they was um, getting over on you. Like somebody here really thought they was going to get over on you. You know, somebody here um, celebrated too soon. I tell you a lot. I tell you this a lot, Libra, that your enemies, your ops be celebrating too soon. Because it's like shit be actually looking like it might work in their favor. And then... At the last minute, the most high just flipped the script on these motherfuckers. And I feel like that's exactly what's going on in this situation. Libra, you look good, though. You look good, by the way. Some of y'all could be, like, very witchy, okay? This Queen of Wands, High Priestess energy, very witchy. Those the, That's straight-up witchy vibes. You definitely, like, a manifesto, alchemist. You could be very intuitive. Some of y'all could have a spiritual business. You may definitely and be um extremely tapped in have your spiritual gifts. Some of you could have been born with gifts and abilities, psychic gifts and abilities. Somebody here may love sunflowers. Some of you may have strong Leo, Aries, or Sag in your chart as well. Yeah, you got a new beginning. And somebody here heartbroken because they planned it and work. Like somebody here was supposed to be connecting to you and that shit didn't work. This person could have been working with a water sign as well. They was working with an air sign, a water sign, and a Capricorn possibly. But you protected from this bullshit. Yeah, God, the God. Listen, I told you this before. God is delaying all plans of the enemy. He's stopping that shit. He's blocking it. I told you, Libra, like, if you on the up and up, if you on the up and up and you on the right side of the wheel, you on the right side of judgment and karma, right? It's like, God, at this time, God is blocking anything that's about to interfere with his plans for your life. So anybody that's trying to affect what he got going on for you, anybody trying to affect God motion in your life right now, it's off with their heads. Like nobody's being spared at this time, Libra. Like I really need y'all to understand that because I know some of y'all work so hard to be in a position that y'all in now. And it's like, oh my God, like I got all of this going on. I got so many people working against me. I got this, I got that going on. I can't trust nobody. I don't feel like I can trust anybody. Libra, let me tell you something. God did not bring you this far to leave you behind. You think God brought you this far to just be like, all right, fuck it. You, 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 you can fend for yourself, Libra. Figure it out. You ain't got no, you don't need no more divine guidance. Like get out of here, Libra. You've been divinely guided throughout your whole journey. God did not bring you this far to, to just, like, leave you astray. No, he's still there. And I promise you, God is moving the most in your life when it's quiet. 
When it seemed like he ain't even around, I promise you that's when he moving around the most behind the scenes. Libra, there's a lot of shit that's been unseen, right? Even though you got these gifts and shit for some of y'all, it's like, it's a lot of shit that you don't see that God has blocked for you. Somebody's birthday is 1017. Somebody born October 17th that needs to hear this message. There's a lot of shit that's not seen right that god has blocked for you and he's going to continue to block these plans of the enemy is they're being destroyed there's delays there's blockages they're being destroyed they're being canceled out <laughs> and it's just and it's and it's going to keep it's going to keep happening like that it's going to keep happening like that so everybody could plot plan oh that didn't work we're going to try this way oh that didn't work we're going to try that way they could keep trying whatever way they want you know what I'm saying? Whatever way they want, they could keep trying. It's not going to work, Libra. I promise you, baby. I promise you. It's not going to work. Like, I need y'all to fully understand that. Because some of y'all are like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Have clarity about this. You're safe. You're protected. All is well. All is going according to God's plan. He's moving in your life. I promise you. Big Leo energy with the sun. And some of you can have strong Leo in your chart. I did say that. Some of y'all can have Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart. Somebody's favorite color could be red. Somebody here may love sunflowers. You guys may love roses and sunflowers. It's so funny because I like roses and sunflowers, especially together, you know? So some of y'all may love flowers, roses, sunflowers, things like that. You have a high priestess in the reverse here, Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you, the plots and plans not working. Somebody here didn't see this. Whoever this high priestess in the reverse is, this shit is beyond her control and she didn't see this. Somebody here could even be a reader. Somebody here thought that they had something in the bag. Like, this is how it's going to happen. This is how it's going to work. This is how it's going to play out. And it didn't play out that way. It didn't work out that way. Somebody here's plans fail. I'm telling you, Libra. And you need to be very thankful for this because these weren't good plans. You know, these were plans against you. It was going to, it was supposed to look like it was for you, but it was ultimately like not good. It wasn't, it wasn't going to be in your benefit. It wasn't going to be for your highest good, right? It was definitely um, some backstabbing ass shit going on here, but it got blocked out, baby. It did. It did. It really did. You know, somebody here overwhelmed by this. Somebody here sick to their stomach about th these plans not um coming together here. Somebody sick to their stomach about this shit. Because somebody here knows that you're moving on without them. This is somebody here that may have not wanted... This is somebody here that may have not wanted you to move on without them. They know that you're moving up. They know that you're evolving. They know that you're going, you know... They know that you're reaching new levels, new heights. They know that you're going places. And this is somebody here that maybe didn't want you to leave them behind. Yeah, because this person's very emotionally codependent. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Somebody here, yes, everything I'm saying is the truth. Ace of Swords. Somebody, yo, I'm on fucking point. I just cut the deck on the Ace of Swords and God damn it, the magician right behind it. And right behind that is the Six of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Yo, Libra, you did the right thing by walking away. These are people that wanted to keep you trapped. You know, for some of you, you not only are you reaching new levels new heights and you evolving on a mental spiritual emotional level but it's physically too some of y'all could even be like traveling safe travels to all my libras out there that's moving around like that but listen if you are there's people that don't want you to go because they know that they can't come with you somebody here could have been trying to send somebody in towards you that was going to delay your plans to actually travel it, it's just a whole bunch of bullshit going on here but listen, these people stressed out now. They mad. They abuse their power and authority. And they heavily burdened because it's, it didn't work. I'm telling you, it did not work. The Hierophant reversed the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Wands. These people have cursed themselves in, in a way here. Somebody here could be losing a lot. Somebody here could be feeling physically ill, okay, mentally ill as well. Like, it, it's backfiring on these people just off the strength that they was trying to come for you or play in your face. Just, just off of that, just off of the fact that this was the plan. Somebody here could be like, yo, how are we getting our ass whooped? And it didn't even work. It doesn't matter. It was the intent behind it. You suffering now. These people are suffering. Somebody here could be a Taurus, a Cancer, a, a Virgo, a Pisces. These people are suffering now. Ace of Pentacles reverse. All, all of their opportunities that they had to come for you to play in your face, it got rejected. 
they felt like they had multiple chances, multiple opportunities to come for you, and it, and it all just keep backfiring. Nothing is working. Nothing is working. Nothing is working. Some of y'all could have a fake friend around y'all as well. This person could be a Cancer, Scorpio, a Taurus, a Pisces. So be mindful of that. Yeah. There's a King of Pentacles in the reverse that feels like there's some sort of death to their finances. So there could be a Karmic Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn that could be one of the head leaders in this situation. This person is upset because they feel like it's some loss of money here, some financial loss that they've taken. This person was working hard behind the scenes to make sure that they got something done. All of these per all of these people are in cahoots. But you free here. Eight of cups, nine of cups. You got the victory here. Okay? You literally got the victory here. You walking away. You turning your back on these people. You turning your back on this person. You turning your back on this situation. It was the best thing that you could have did, Libra. Eight of cups, nine of wands. Your manifestations is now coming in. I can assure you of that. You are the a true alchemist. You are the true manifester. You a master magician, Libra, is what I'm hearing. You a master at this shit. Okay? Somebody initials literally could be MM. First, last, or middle. MM. You could have two M's. But I'm telling you, Ace of Swords. I, uh, Spirit said you about to get them M's too. You about to be counting some M's. So somebody here that resonate with this message today, you going to be a millionaire. You're destined to be a millionaire. I'm just, I just heard the first millionaire in your family, okay? So you, nobody in your family is a millionaire. You may be the first one. That's for some of y'all. Yeah, but Ace of Swords and the Six of Wands. This is good news, celebration, victory, success. Yeah, okay, your hard work paying off. You know what I'm saying? This is you receiving your rewards, bearing the fruits of your labor, man. I'm telling you, it's time. It's time for you to receive all that is, all that's supposed to be for you. You know, there could have been a delay, but God will delay things, you know, because of other shit that you don't know about, that you don't see. He got to move things around. He got to move people out your way, Libra. He, it's a lot of things that he got to move around before he could bless you like this. Yeah, Ace of Swords and the Six of Wands. Good for you, Libra. Yeah, there's a King of Cups in the reverse that has been exposed. This person is under judgment. Somebody here could be a Pisces. Or they can have strong Pisces in their chart. Somebody here could be a Cancer or a Scorpio. Somebody here could have strong water in their chart. Or they could be a water sun sign. Whoever this King of Cups in the reverse is, this person has been exposed for being a fraud, for being two-faced, for trying to destroy you. I'm telling you. This person has been exposed and they under judgment. This King of Cups in the reverse is not looking good for them. It's not looking good for them. Yeah. This is somebody that worked together with a karmic group of people. Could be uh, karmic family members of yours, of theirs. All around the board, all of the above. Yeah. Mm. Give me something on the King of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this person is under judgment. This King of Pentacles, this King of Cups in the reverse, they all under judgment. This Taurus is under judgment. This Pisces is under judgment. This Cancer is under judgment. These people are under judgment. Because you're not to be fucked with. Somebody here fucked around and they found out. I'm telling you. This water sign, this Taurus, whoever the fuck these people are, they done fucked around and they done found out. They done fucked around and they done found out. There's a King of Wands in the reverse and a Queen of Cups in the reverse here too. There's multiple people here. You got up to one, two, three, four. You got up to five people here that was playing. You know what I'm saying? They was really fucking playing. A fire sign, two water signs, a Taurus. Could be another earth sign in the mix. I'm telling you, you got up to five people, but I'm sure it was even more than that. That was all in cahoots, but you chose it. So it don't matter how many people in on something. It does not matter. You're chosen, Libra. You're anointed. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. That's the life you live. <laughs> I'm telling you, you a star here. You a star seed. You chosen. You anointed. These people fucked up. It's gossip surrounding this. It's gossip surrounding this because these people are checking in on you. Some of these people are even bold enough to reach out to you to check on you. And then for others of you, some, some people just checking in by looking at you. You can have these people on social media. You can have them like whatever. They checking in on you. And they see that you good. They see that all eyes are on you. Some of you may even have a public platform or, you know, you could have like a, you could be on a, a public stage, public, you can have a public platform, a, a social media presence or something like that. These people are checking in. They checking in. 
They see that you good. You in the six of wands. You being celebrated. Your manifestations is coming in. They see that you looking good too. Somebody here could have recently saw y'all. I told y'all that the other day and y'all messaged somebody recently saw y'all. And they know that a beauty spell is backfiring because you look good as fuck. Somebody here could have saw you as of recent. You could have also posted pictures, posted videos or something like that. Somebody here see you. They know you good. They know you looking good, Libra. They see this shit. They see how good you looking. <laughs> They see that all their plans didn't work. All their plans backfired. Somebody here is trying to go back to the drawing board and see what else can they do. Nothing. It's going to always fail. Yeah, there's a queen of pentacles in the reverse that was in the mix too. All of these people are heartbroken. You got like three earth signs here, two water signs, a fire sign. You got mad fucking people that just keep showing up. Queen of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Cups reverse, a King of Pentacles in a reverse, a Hierophant in a reverse, a King of Cups reverse, a King of Wands reverse. All these people heartbroken. They all heartbroken. They all feel like they losing right now. I'm telling you, motherfuckers is losing. You know, some of these people bet on your downfall. Like you got some people that actually put money up. <laughs> Some people thought they was going to get a return on this investment. This was a bad investment. This was a bad deal. This was a bad plan. Somebody here lost a lot betting on you, betting on your downfall. They lost a lot. They losing a lot behind this shit. It's, it didn't work the way they thought it would. I'm telling you, nothing worked the way these people thought it would. They pissed off. They don't understand. Some of y'all had people that was in your face that thought they was going to play in your face. You had people that was supposed to come in like friends that was going to play in your face here. Whoever you are, Libra, you could be alone or you appear to be alone, but you ain't alone. Some of y'all appear to be alone because these people, th th this is what, this is the problem here. You know, didn't we learn this in elementary to not judge a book by its cover? You know, but a lot of people, they didn't really process that. You know, they didn't process that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. Libra, whoever you are, you don't look chosen. You don't look anointed for some of you. You don't look like a, a, a master manifester, a magician. You don't look like an alchemist, you know. Some people looking at your ass like you fucking Harry Potter right now. But you don't look like Harry Potter. You know, you just out, you just, you look beautiful. You look good. So it's like motherfuckers think you just an airhead. You know, you, your head is just up in the clouds. You know, all you care about is how you going to lay your part. If you're going to get a side part, middle part, if you're going to get braids, if you're going to get a silk press, if you're going to get bundles, you want them curly or straight, you want body wave or deep wave. Motherfuckers look at you like all you care about is how you look or what you got on, how much money you making, you know, what kind of dates you going on, who looking at you, who you going to be talking to. Like, people look at you like you just this pretty fucking airhead. They have no idea that you a fucking gangster in the spirit realm. They have no idea that you have book smarts, street smarts, and you got psychic gifts. Like, these motherfuckers came for a real one, a real OG. These motherfuckers think they G's, but when they came for you, they realized that they came for a true G, a true gangster in the spirit realm. Like, you a spiritual gangster. I know one of y'all left a comment like that the other day on my messages or on my video. And y'all said that y'all spiritual gangsters. Yeah, I know what that's about. I know what that is. Yeah. What's up, Soul Fan? What's up, Soul Tribe? They ain't know that you was an OG, triple OG in the spirit realm. They ain't know that your ass got a motherfucking army in the spirit realm. They didn't know what type of rank you had. They know now because they fucked around and they found out. They finding the fuck out right now. I bet you that. We got the hermit here. You a motherfucking prophet. You a prophet, Libra. A prophet, a prophetess, a hermit, a hermitess, a, a motherfucking master magician, man. That's who you are. Magician and a hermit, high priestess, queen of wands type energy to star. I promise you that's who you are. Okay? And you look alone. Or you look like this just, this pretty airhead. You, you, your head is up in the clouds. You a fucking airhead. You don't know what's going on. Child, please. Yeah, look at this. King of Swords. Look at all these motherfucking court cards all in the reverse. All of these low vibrational motherfuckers under judgment. You got a King of Swords reverse, a Queen of Pentacles reverse, a Queen of Cups reverse, a King of Wands reverse, a King of Cups reverse, a King of Pentacles reverse, a Hierophant reverse. Like, goddamn, all these people and the practitioners and everybody that they work together with, they all suffering at this point. They all under judgment. For some of you motherfuckers put money on your head, they went to multiple practitioners. 
multiple. This one couldn't get the job done, so they went to another one. Some of y'all even had motherfuckers doing a big one, and they traveled overseas to come for you. Motherfuckers traveled. They booked tickets. They booked flights. They went across big bodies of water to, to, to work together with certain motherfuckers to come for you. Like, Libra, you, I'm actually flattered. Y'all should be flattered. Like, this is very flattering. The fact that y'all all had to group up like this. is Do y'all motherfuckers still feel like it's power in numbers or no? Nah? The fact that y'all all had to come so hard like this and gather so many fucking people. How does it feel to still be a loser? How does it feel? It went from a group of three to a group of five to a group of eight to a group of ten to 20, 30, 40 motherfuckers, whole covens and organizations. How does it feel to still feel like fucking, y'all feel like losers? Congratulations, you fucking chumps. You played yourselves. Like, how does it feel? How does it feel? How does it feel? How do you feel? How do y'all feel? How, do you, how does it feel, baby? It feels like God's power is real, don't it? Yeah. Show him the glory. Give him the credit. This is God's work. This is God's doing. God's power is greater than any man, than any demon. There is no demon, no principality of hell, no man on earth that is more powerful than God. Keep telling y'all that. I keep telling y'all that, but no, this bitch crazy. Her faith is ridiculous. She don't know what she's talking about. She's delusional. Okay, keep playing. Queen of Swords on that ass. Keep playing. Libra, you showing up as the Queen of Swords. Go ahead, big mama. Go ahead, big daddy. Very intelligent. This is what I'm saying. You are OG at this shit. Some of y'all, you so anointed. Yeah, you know, the spiritual warfare, it just comes with the territory. A lot of y'all been attacked since y'all was children, since, you know, from birth. You've been attacked before. Some of y'all was attacked before you even came out the womb. Your mama could have been under attack while she was pregnant with you. This is how deep this shit go. You know what I'm saying? Let's really get into it. You been had a huge calling over your life. You been anointed, baby. You was chosen before you, your mom even gave birth to you. You was chosen. Some of y'all, you just broke a, a serious curse off your bloodline. You breaking generational curses out here. But some of y'all, you just you just really broke a curse up off your bloodline. Some of your ancestors are free right now because of you. That's why they bless you so much. That's why they protect you so much because you freeing them. Some of your ancestors free right now because of you, baby. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying, Libra? Release the chains, release the shackles. That's who you are. You a chain breaker, a generational curse breaker, a curse breaker. You a demon slayer. I just, my spirit guide said you a demon slayer. The fuck these motherfuckers think this is? You ain't no, you ain't no regular degular. You ain't no regular Joe out here. You ain't no fucking regular Jane Doe, no regular Jane Doe, no regular Joe. <laughs> the fuck they thought this was? You never know who somebody is. That's why y'all motherfuckers need to be careful out here. You never know who somebody is. You never know. You never fucking know who somebody is. I don't give a fuck what somebody look like, how they talk, what they, how they dress, none of that. You don't know who the fuck somebody is in the spirit, man. These motherfuckers size you up wrong. You a fucking giant in the spirit realm. You understand me? Somebody here could actually be wanting to work together with you. Some of y'all under a fucking case study like you some fucking experiment. You got people here studying you. Because they know how hard they was coming for you. They know what you was up against. You got motherfuckers studying you. Somebody here could even be wanting to test y'all DNA in a lab or some shit. <laughs> like no bullshit, Libra. No bullshit, man. Like, motherfuckers looking at you like an extraterrestrial out of this bitch. You got a new beginning, period. You in your new beginning. It already started. It already happened. That's funny. Y'all know what I'm about to say. I done saw a meme. <laughs> I done saw a meme. 
I saw a meme yesterday and it was like you walking in your new beginning. Like, congratulations. Yeah, you you done walked in your new beginning. Libra, ace of cups, ace of swords, ace of wands, the sun. That's what it is. That's what it's going to be. You manifested this shit. All these people could do is just sit and watch the magic because you are literal magic. This is something to definitely witness. You, you fucking making history, baby. This is really something to witness. What's going on right now in your life? This is a fucking movie. This is a show. This is something to witness. Grab your popcorn, bitch. Okay? Grab your teas, your juices, your champagne, your beers, your hard cider, whatever fuck y'all like to sip on. Grab that shit. Get your snacks ready. Enjoy the motherfucking show. These people are literally watching you walk into your new life. They're literally watching you walk into a new life that you manifested while you was under attack. How, confirmation how the fuck you manifest a new life a new beginning while under attack by all these motherfuckers libra these motherfuckers need to compensate you i need all of y'all to come up out y'all pockets and hand me something just off of the strength that i got these balls that y'all thought i didn't i need all of y'all bitches to come out y'all motherfucking pockets and show me some motherfucking respect at this point really you know what i'm saying that's how you that's that's how you get my attention Come up out your motherfucking pockets and show me some motherfucking respect. I deserve that. I deserve that. Come on now. Come up out your pockets. Kiss my pinky ring on some Frank White shit. It's a Frank White thing. <laughs> Talk your shit, Libra. God put you in a position to boast about him. So I hope that you're doing that. Because that's, that's who's really at work in your life. This ain't you, baby. This ain't, this ain't nothing but God. This is God's work in your life. So all, all glory and praise to the most high, the father God, the, the one true God. Because that's who's doing this shit. That's who puts you in a position to know your strength. This is who gave you your gifts. This is who gave you your power and strength. This is who cloaked you and protects you throughout this whole ordeal. This is, this, is who, this is who you need to be praising, worshiping. All glory and praise to the most high, the one true God, man. You understand what I'm saying? Some of these, you got some of these motherfuckers questioning their own beliefs. Motherfuckers that believe in science and shit. They starting to believe in supernatural shit now because of you. Because of you. This is a miracle. You got a testimony, Libra. You got a real testimony. Your, your whole life is a fucking miracle. These people wanted to play in your face like your life was a joke. Whole time is a fucking miracle. Okay? The fuck out of here. These motherfuckers, they have no choice but to respect you. You understand what I'm saying? What Khalees said? I don't care if you don't like me, but you will respect me. Because I'm bossy. <laughs> Libra, I'm hearing bossy by Khalees. That's what she's saying. You don't have to like me. But you will respect me. Yeah, put some motherfucking respect on Libra name, bitch. Put some respect on Libra name. These people have no choice but to watch you manifest the hell out of your life. They have no choice but to watch you walk into your new life. How the fuck did you do this, Libra? How did you manifest a new beginning? How did you manifest a new life while we was trying to kill your ass? That's what they want to know. They also want to know... Who's that girl? La 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 la. Libra's that girl. <laughs> they wanna know who's that girl. <laughs> I'm hearing Eve. Shout out to Eve. Big Scorpio energy is what I'm channeling. Some of y'all gonna have strong Scorpio placements, but they wanna know who's that girl. La 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 la. Yeah, Libra, you that girl. You that guy. You that one. You are him. You are her. Always been him, always been her. Okay? Somebody here could be a Gunner fan. Yeah. If she don't listen to Gunner, I don't want her. <laughs> Shout outs to Gunner. Gunner is a Gemini. Some of y'all can have Gemini in your chart too. Yeah. Shout outs to Eve. Shout outs to Gunner, man. But yeah, two of swords, the four of cups. Okay? Page of Wands. Yeah, this cycle closed out for these mofos. Cycle closed out for these mofos. 
Mm-hmm. These codependent mofos, these thieves here, wanting to take, want to, wanting to take from you, wanting a destiny swap from you, wanting to harvest your energy, siphon your energy, wanting access to your Akashic library, your Akashic records. Wanting to take what's destined for you. Wanting to flip some shit. Wanting to put they nasty ass karma and curse destinies on you. And, and, and bring your blessings to they life. This, this is it's over for these motherfuckers. It's clip for them. It's clip for these mofos. You are the true alchemist. You are the angel, baby. You are the winged seer. Yes. Yeah, man. You the winged seer. You got people from your past that's feeling some type of way. You got people that you blocked feeling some type of way. You got people that's attacking you that keep getting blocked. That's 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 feeling some type of way. They feeling some type of way because you protected. Your gods is like, nah, son, not this one. Not this one, dog. Not this one. Like, you really got some heavy hitters in the spirit room. They like, nah, not this one. I don't think you want to do that. This, this, this area right here is blocked off because Libra back there. VIP. Libra, I'm hearing that you a VIP. You a very important person, you dig? This whole section blocked off. You can't come this way, okay? Yeah, Libra back there. Our baby, our chosen, our anointed. So I'm gonna need you to head that way. Nah, you can't come this way. You can't keep playing in the anointed one's energy. Motherfuckers is realizing that. You cannot keep playing in the anointed one's energy. You just can't. Like you just can't, you it's just not going down. God is not going to fucking allow that shit. He's just not. He's just not. Playing in an anointed one's energy is a suicide fucking mission. It's a death wish. I promise you. I'm not capping. I'm not trying to make I'm not trying to make anybody head big. You feel me? On some humble shit. That's why I said, Libra, this ain't true. It's all God. All glory and praise to the most high. This ain't no cockiness. This ain't no arrogance. This is true faith and anointing and covering and favor and protection. Because you got a big fucking purpose. That's why. They like, nah, not this one, dog. Not this one. This, not this one. We, we, we not playing those games on this side. Not this one. You might win some, but you just lost one. You might win some, but you just lost one. You might win some, but you just lost one. You can't have this one. You can't have this one. That's, that's, what, that's what the angel's telling the devil right now, too. You might win some, but you just lost one. You can't have this one. God said the devil can't have you. He keeping you. You know what I'm saying? Because the devil out here just collecting souls like motherfucking Skittles, like Pokemons and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and shit. He just collecting them. The devil just out here collecting souls. And he thought he had you. He thought he had you. He His big funky ass thing. He felt like he was this close to having you, Libra. But God said he can't have you. God said he keeping you close. God said he keeping you close. He keeping you close. He said, not this one, player. Move around. Go find something safe to do. Can't have this one. <laughs> can't have this one. Yeah, all evil eyes going blind because you covered in the blood of Jesus. You feel me? Yeah, five of swords in the reverse. These people feel defeated. Some of these motherfuckers feel like it's unfair. How you feel like it's unfair? How the fuck y'all feel like it's unfair? It's unfair for you to be plotting on somebody like this. That's what's unfair. It's unfair for you to be passing judgment on motherfuckers and you a sinner. When your life is squeaky clean, when your shit is squeaky clean, come holler at me. Confirmation, come holler at me. When you, when you ain't sin, not once. Motherfuckers was born in sin. Some of y'all mamas and daddies was not married when y'all was born. You was born out of wedlock. That's a sin right there, ain't it? At least that's what they teach y'all in the church, right? Come on now. Let me know when your shit is squeaky clean. Throwing stones and shit. Your ass live in a glass house. Let me know when your shit is squeaky clean before you start passing judgment on people. Feeling like it's unfair. 
What's unfair is that you're trying to play God in somebody's life. That's what's unfair. The fact that you even thinking that you are God, that's what's unfair. Fucking blasphemous motherfuckers, man. That's what's unfair. It's unfair for you to be in this position. It's unfair for you to be this confident and this strong. No, what's unfair is how you move in. It's unfair. Somebody here feel like they was impulsive. They did something too fast. They did something too quick. They sorry. Some of y'all can have another Libra or a Capricorn wanting to come towards you and befriend you. This could be somebody that was playing in your face too. This person feel bad for, for working against you. This person betrayed you and they suffering too. This person could be losing their home or they think they're going to lose their home. They're on the verge of losing some shit. Somebody here could be an Aries, Aquarius, a Capricorn, or another Libra like you. This person could be losing money, losing their job and shit. Yeah, these people under judgment for this shit. They losing a lot. That's, that's the price to pay. Some people paying with their lives. And then you got other motherfuckers that's paying in, in a way of finances. Some of these motherfuckers got to file bankruptcy and shit. And that's not always bad. You know, do what you got to do. But I hope this was a lesson for all of y'all. I hope y'all learned a valuable lesson in this whole situation. Stop judging people. Stop passing judgment. You ain't in no fucking place to be passing judgment on anybody. Okay? Let me know when y'all shit squeaky clean. Passing judgment on you, Libra. Sizing you up wrong. Feeling like you ain't shit. Your life ain't worth shit. You ain't nobody. Fuck out of here. Y'all motherfuckers got the game fucked up. Y'all really do. Y'all really do. Libra, you got somebody that wanting to come that's wanting to come towards you. You know what? I'm gonna keep this out and we're gonna clarify this energy. Cause I done pulled too many cards in this deck. So we we gonna have to just take this out and, and clarify this. We got the Knight of Cups, the Emperor, and the Two of Cups. We got to see what that's hitting on. But yeah, the fuck out of here. These people play. They played, played and failed, played and lost. And you ain't got no more coins to put in a machine, bitch, okay? The game room is closing, the arcade is closing, game over. The fuck out of here, motherfuckers. Man, please, okay? There's a high priestess in the reverse that could be a water sign or a Virgo. Somebody here's a Virgo or a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This high priestess in the reverse, this bitch is pissed. She did not see this shit coming. This is somebody here that could have been pulling pulling cards on y'all for these people and shit like that. Telling them, you know, like this gonna happen, that's gonna happen. And we good, we good. You know, Libra is gonna be this. They Libra gonna be fucked up out here. Yeah, bitch. You, 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 you tried it. You try to, your cards ain't hitting on shit. Your readings ain't hitting on shit. Your discernment, your foresight ain't hitting on shit. You ain't see this coming. Somebody here could have even been saying that you fake. That you a fake spiritualist. If you a reader, Libra, somebody here was calling you fake. Somebody here said you a fake reader. If y'all are readers that was going through shit like this, somebody here was saying that you was a fake reader, Libra. You was a fake spiritualist. A fake prophet. A fake prophetess. The fuck out of here. Ain't nothing fake about you. <laughs> Ain't nothing fake about you. Maybe your eyelashes, baby. But that's about it. <laughs> Ain't nothing fake about you, Libra. These motherfuckers tried it. They fucked around and they found out. Yeah, we got the two of cups here again. I'm hearing, I want to be a lover. I want to get to know you, baby. I'm here, I want to get to know you by Joe and uh, G-Unit. Y'all remember that song with Joe and G-Unit? Joe be having some sexy shit. He be having the tunes. He be having the vibes. Because I used to love that song by him more and more. He be on his sexy, grown and sexy type shit. But I'm hearing that song by Joe and G-Unit. I want to be a lover. I want to be a lover. I want to get to know you. Baby, somebody here could be thinking about partnering up with you, like for real, for real, on some we live together type shit. Ten of Cups. We got the Two of Cups here in both decks. The Emperor, the Knight of Cups. 
somebody here could be planning on coming towards you, Libra. Somebody here want to get to know you. They want to be your lover. I don't know. Let's see what this person talking about. Let's see what's going on. I want to be your lover. I want to get to know you, baby. Can't make this shit up. Ace of Cups. I want to be your lover. Okay. This person want to call. They want to talk. They want to be your lover. They want to get to know you. So this could be somebody new because I'm here and I want to get to know you. Or if this is if this is not somebody new, they feel like they got to get to know you all over again. Just take it as it resonates. Because you knew. You a new fucking person. You keep changing. You keep evolving. You keep ascending. You keep awakening. You keep going through these crazy ass rebirths. Motherfuckers have witnessed you die a million times in the same lifetime. And you keep coming back stronger, stronger than ever. They like, yo, who are you? None of your damn business. That's who. If I cut you out of my life, it ain't none of your business to know who the fuck I am. Now move around. We have the Ace of Cups here and the Eight of Wands. And the Knight of Cups. So somebody here want to talk. They want to communicate. They want to come in. Okay? Somebody here could be a Sag. Somebody here could be an Aries. Okay? And somebody here that was working on you, it, it, they done found this out. So somebody here that was doing work on y'all done found something out. They done found out that you still getting offers. They done found out that love is still in your life. Somebody here could have been trying to block a love from your life. You know? Whoever this person is, they finding this shit out. Somebody here could be a Pisces or a Gemini. Or they could have Pisces or Gemini in their chart. I'm getting Pisces, Gemini, and Virgo here. Pisces, Gemini, and Virgo. And somebody here got Gemini, Pisces, or Virgo in their chart. I'm telling you, whoever this motherfucker is, they finding out that you still got offers coming in. Somebody here done got the message that you a star. You a motherfucking star. You chosen. This King of Swords in the reverse is tight. Somebody here is actually going to jail. Or they in spiritual jail. Somebody here could have a, Pis a Pisces, a Gemini, a Virgo, or a Sag Moon. Somebody here could be a Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, or Aquarius Sun. Whoever this person is, they going to jail. They going to physical jail or this person is in spiritual jail. But somebody here knows that you have a higher level of commitment coming in. I can't make it up. We got the Knight of Cups here in both decks. The same cards is coming out. Same fucking cards is coming out, Libra. We got the Knight of Cups here in both decks. And we got the Two of Cups here in both decks. Okay? Two of Cups, both decks. Knight of Cups in both decks. We got the Hierophant here. The Star card. The Hermit, Aries, Virgo, Aquarius, Taurus energy could be significant. It could be placements in your chart or their chart. Big Libra energy here with the Justice. For some of you, this is a past life soulmate. Okay. Emperor, Hermit, Star, Hierophant, Justice. Two of Cups times two. Knight of Cups times two. Ace of Cups, Eight of Wands. temperance the fool card this person is ready to take a leap of faith they've been very patient or well, this is somebody that's very patient very kind very understanding very loving this is somebody that's going to take their time this is somebody that really wants to nurture nurture a connection which will nurture you This King of Pentacles in the reverse is tight and just watching you. You got a fake ass motherfucker here. You got a Pisces, an Earth sign, or an Aquarius, a Gemini watching you. It's a masculine energy. They watching you. They watching you. And they just going to watch you be happy. They going to watch you keep getting finer and finer. And they going to watch you build a life, build a home with somebody. They going to watch you receive all your blessings. This King of Pentacles in the reverse. This person just going to keep watching. Could be a Taurus for some of y'all. Or somebody with strong Taurus in their chart. It's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Air Sign, Pisces. Multiple people here just watching you receive. Ten of Pentacles. They just watch. They just watching. They like, yo, Libra really got, like, re Libra really getting that shit. Libra really got it. Yeah, bitch. And life just going to keep getting better and better. It's time for Libra to smell the motherfucking roses. Yeah, yeah, me. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Your life, you deserve this shit, Libra. 
all of this shit that you had going on, you deserve, it's about damn time that you done got what you supposed to. The type of energy that you carry and the type of life that motherfuckers was trying to force you to live is not in alignment. You understand me? The type of energy that you carry and the type of life that motherfuckers was trying to force you to live was not in alignment. God had to rearrange some things for you. We got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Congratulations, Libra. This is your justice. This is your karmic motherfucking justice. Where's the justice? Where's the motherfucking justice? I'm hearing Martin in that movie, A Thin Line Between Love and Hate, when Brandy took his wheels off his shit. And he was in front of the police station. He was like, where's the justice? <laughs> Where's the fucking justice? Yeah, justice is right here for you, Libra. Oh, big Libra, the justice is right here for you, big Empress. You the big one, not the little one. Ain't nothing little about you. Big spirit, big protection, big anointing, big power, big fucking purpose, big destiny. Okay? And big deaths to your ops. Big poverty for them. Big, big death, big poverty, big fucking blockages. That's what y'all had to look forward to. Suit up and boot up, bitch. Get ready. Get ready for these back-to-back -to -back towers to blow in y'all fucking lives. Hold y'all motherfucking wigs. Because God is about to split your shit. He about to push your shit all the way back and split it. You ain't strong enough for this wrath. We got the strength in the reverse and the three of swords, the five of pentacles. Y'all ain't strong enough for this wrath. Ain't nobody strong enough to endure God's wrath. Got to be more careful. Don't be sorry, ho. Be careful. We got the four wands, Libra. You going into a beautiful fucking partnership or you already in this. Congratulations. Four of wands, the ten of pentacles, the ten of cups. Your wish fulfillment is coming in. Two of cups. Happiness. And everybody that wanted to partner up with you for all the wrong reasons is just going to watch this shit. They're going to watch somebody genuine live their best life with you. They're going to watch you live your best life with somebody that's genuine. Somebody here that you have no attraction for is going through a tower moment and just watching this shit. This person is disappointed. They mad. They hate that you walked away from them. This person could be still plotting and planning behind the scenes. Anybody that's still thinking that they can do anything unfair to you is fucking crazy. You done, lost your you, you, you done lost your damn mind. You're out of your mind, baby. Go find it. Anybody that's still behind the scenes plotting and planning, waiting to see some shit so they could come in and do some shit, you done lost your mind. Queen of Swords in the reverse, you feeling defeated. You feeling like you getting negative attention. That's your business. This cycle has closed out. Y'all are liars. Motherfuckers is being seen to be liars. The truth is being exposed about these motherfuckers here. There's a karmic reader that could be feeling like they're getting a lot of negative attention or some shit like that. The will is turning in your favor, Libra. Will of fortune. Yeah. Come on now. Stop playing. Don't play with her. Don't play with him. Cycle closed. The will done turned. So anybody that's still behind the scenes plotting and planning and waiting for some shit, waiting to fucking bust a move, go ahead and bust a move so you could get bust right upside your mofo head. <laughs> So you can get bust upside your head. Go bust a move so spirit can bust you upside your motherfucking dome. Your dome piece. <laughs> Libra. Congratulations on everything. Congratulations on your ten of pentacles, your ten of cups, your two of cups, your six of wands. Congratulations on all that, baby. All that, all that. All that. Congratulations. 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 You are the motherfucking truth. You are the truth. You are the truth. Excuse me. Libra is the truth. Ding, ding, ding. One, two, one, two. Is this mic on? Check one, two, one, two. Libra is the motherfucking truth. <laughs> Yo, Libra, you the truth, dog. You the truth, Libra. Yeah, man. You a bad. You, you a bad one. You cold, Libra. You cold. You cold, Libra. You bad. Libra, you bad, baby. 
You cold, Libra. You bad, man. You bad. You bad. You bad. You bad, Libra. You cold, Libra. You cold, motherfucker, man. You know that? <laughs> you smooth with your shit, too. Because I feel like y'all very quiet. <laughs> Keep it like that, Libra. Keep it quiet. Move in silence. These monitoring spirits don't know shit. They don't know nothing. So keep moving in silence. Yeah, we got money opportunity. Congratulations. You could have some sort of um, opportunities coming towards you in regards to business, career, work. Yeah. Yeah, that's the truth. There's going to be blessings coming in in regards to work and finances. Okay, Libra? So... There's, there's going to be blessings here that come in, opportunities that come in when it comes to work and business and finances, okay? And love. I want some of your brown sugar, okay? Somebody here could be melanated. Your person could be melanated. Take it as it resonate. Somebody here wants some, some somebody brown sugar, Okay? And even if you fair skin watching this reading and it resonate with you, same goes for you, baby. Somebody wants some of your sugar, whether it's brown or not. You got the you got the fucking sugar, okay? Your ass is magically delicious. I don't give a fuck what color your sugar is. You the shit, <laughs> Libra. I love you. I love you so much. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. There's a karmic Libra that's in your energy. This dumb bitch keeps showing up. This person is feeling weak right now. There's a karmic Libra, a karmic Leo, a karmic Aries, a karmic Sag. There's a karmic fire sign or another Libra here that's in your energy. This is somebody that's upset because you're not codependent. Somebody here is trying to keep you in a codependent state. You know, Libra, along our journeys, a lot of us had to break up with that spirit of codependency, right? We all went through that, right? Let's be serious. And it could have been codependency on, on different levels. Like for some of y'all, it could have been like romantic situations where you had to release that codependency. For others of you, it could have been codependency on bad habits, right? Codependency on toxic behaviors uh, and bad habits, right? Others of you, there could have been some sort of codependency on just like uh, the fear of missing out or the fear of being alone or, you know, just like multiple things. Like it, it runs deep, right? It was different for all of y'all. It's levels to this shit. Now... You have broken up with that spirit of codependency, okay? And somebody here is mad about that. I'm telling you, it's a fire sign. Somebody here could be a fire sign. I told you it was fire. We got Aries, Leo, and Sag, and we got Libra. There's another Libra here, okay, that's karmic as fuck. This person could be a karmic reader or a dark high priestess is what I keep hearing. This person could have fire in their chart, okay? Mm. Hmm. All right? Somebody here could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Libra in their chart, Okay? This person is trying to lower your vibration, okay? This is somebody here that wants you to be codependent. This is somebody here that could have been telling lies about you. And whatever they've been saying about you, you not living up to the lies that they, they told about you. Somebody here was telling lies about you and then attacking you behind the scenes so that you can appear to fit the lies that they told about you. But Libra, you not fit in their description, confirmation. You not fit in the lies that they told about you. This person is a messenger, but they lie. They not speaking the truth. This is somebody here that's upset because you have a spiritual partnership and they don't want you to have one. This is somebody here that's on the wrong side of the wheel. This is somebody here that do spell work on people. This person is very manipulative. And somebody here could have been saying that about you. This person could have been saying you a copycat or you this, you that. Nah, the truth is in the pudding. You somebody here that has a true anointing, true favor. A true covering, a true calling on your life. Whoever this person is, they thought that they was going to connect to you in some way and get some sort of financial blessings. This person's money is about to decrease rapidly if it's not already. We got my, con my income is constantly increasing. That shit came out in the reverse. You are the true empress. This is somebody that wanted to swap. They wanted to change. They wanted to trade places with you. And they can't. They can't. This Aries, Leo, Sag, this other Libra, whoever the fuck this is, they cannot trade places with you, Libra. You receiving big justice. Come on now, how many times is justice going to come out? The November 3rd could be significant. 
March 11th could be significant. Some of you born October 11th, October 13th, October 3rd. You know if this is your message or not. You the Empress. You receiving justice in this situation, Empress. This karmic reader or this dark spiritualist, whoever the fuck this is, this bitch could have been working together with some of your karmic family. Or they could have been working with a karmic community of people, a karmic group here. This is somebody here that wants to put you in a codependent state. They want to lower your vibration. Trust your intuition, Libra. You on to this shit. You know what's going on. You know what's going on, Libra. Trust your intuition. You are right. Spirits say keep trusting your intuition. You right, baby. There's a karmic Pisces here that's feeling unstable. This person can't be trusted. Somebody here can have Pisces or Aquarius in their chart. This person is not happy. They could be repenting right now. Somebody here could have... Um, Somebody here could have an a, a entity attachment. Somebody here could also be feeling like their home is haunted right now for coming for you. Because you a high fucking priestess. I keep telling you, they playing with somebody that's a real one. You cannot play with everybody. I keep trying to tell y'all this. Somebody here thought you wasn't the real deal, but they finding out the hard way that you are. You really are. October 11th, October 3rd, October 13th, October 2nd, October 12th could be your birthday for some of you. Somebody here, Life Path 3, 2... Six of Wands, you being celebrated, okay? You being celebrated, you being vindicated in this situation. You are the victor. Some of y'all are going into a beautiful, powerful connection. Your person could be a Capricorn or they could have strong Capricorn in their chart. Your person could be a Taurus or they could have strong Taurus in their chart, okay? Or somebody here that wanted to partner up with you could be one of those signs and they mad because the cycle closed out, they can't be with you. You got earth signs here that want to partner up with you. You got earth signs wanting to be with you, Libra. But some of these people could be just looking at you as a money opportunity. So be mindful. There's earth energy here. Very strong earth energy wanting to partner up with you. And you have to use your discernment. Because some of these people are coming in for all the wrong reasons. Looking at you like you a fucking lick. Okay? They looking at you like you a motherfucking uh, jackpot here. Like you the golden ticket. You a golden opportunity. Motherfuckers could be looking at you... You know, like like you a coin machine. Like you a motherfucking money machine and shit. You could be receiving some sort of money opportunity from an earth sign as well. Some of you could also have strong earth in your chart. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you could have a strong earth moon, moon placement. Somebody's moon is earth. Libra, high priestess, empress, baby. You could have a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn moon, okay? Or a Pisces moon, Okay? Fake spiritualist copycat. Bitch, please, you wish. The fuck out of here. <laughs> like these people, the nerve of these motherfuckers. The fucking nerve. Okay, you have Archangel Hania, silver energy. Yeah, you a goddess, you psychic, you sacred, and you proud about that shit. My point exactly, you are the winged seer. You are the true angel here. You got your wings, Libra. Moon goddess type shit. You see how the moon is shining down on her with her wings? Some of y'all, you definitely work with the moon. You a moon goddess for some of you. But goddess, psychic, sacred, and proud. Some of you um, could be a life path four. Some of you could be seeing angel number 444 a lot. Some of y'all could be born October 4th as well or October 14th. You're a psychic. Psychic, sacred, proud goddess. Yeah, you standing on business. And we got 444 right here on this fucking mailbox. We two tapped in, y'all. You got mail, Libra. It's big news. It's good news. 444. Everything's okay. All right? 22. Some of you could be seeing a lot of twos, a lot of fours. Some of y'all could be born September 24th. Somebody um, could be 24 years old. Somebody here could be 42. Some of y'all could be born October 2nd, October 4th, October 12th, October 14th. But 222, 444 is significant. This is reassurance that you fully support it, that you have divine guidance. Things are being overseen. You are being overlooked. Yeah, yo, you're not going to be overlooked anymore, Libra. Okay? But this is overseen guidance, support, and reassurance. This is, you are being reassured at this time that you protect it and everything's okay. You saved. Your abundance is safe too. You very abundant. 13. Somebody's birthday could be October 13th. 
We got 44, 22. Again, with the fours and the twos, 13 breaks down to a four. Some of y'all definitely a light path four. You could be born October 4th, October 14th, October 13th. Faith, optimism, excitement, and breakthrough. I told you, motherfuckers is watching you go into your new life that you manifested. They watching a breakthrough. They watching a magic unfold. Get excited, Libra. This shit is happening right the fuck now. You have the right to be optimistic. Your faith is unwavering. Your faith is what's taking you to new heights, new levels. Yes. Look at look how you looking, Libra. God's light is shining down on you. The universe has no fucking choice but to bless you. You are in full alignment. You too tapped in. You have a high um, perspective on everything. You look at everything from a higher perspective. You have a great you have a great optimistic attitude. You have shifted yourself into an energy of being grateful. So you could be feeling very grateful. You know, it's so funny because in yesterday's message, in the very beginning of yesterday's message, I went on about how I was feeling so whole, right? And feeling so connected to God and, and just crying about my love for him. Like my love for him, it brings me to tears, like literal tears. I get emotional when I talk about my love for God and how he moved in my life, right? And I was expressing that to y'all. And I was saying how I'm in this energy of just extreme gratitude. Like I always try to be in that energy and be, just be grateful for everything. But it was overwhelming yesterday to the point where I was just very emotional, right? And I was telling y'all about this. We literally have gratitude. Some of y'all are in that energy too. Very grateful, you know, there's been a complete shift or a turnaround in your energy right now, Libra, where you are feeling extremely grateful. You need to stay in that energy because this is what's helping your manifestations come through for you like this. It says gratitude, assistance, guidance, and understanding. You have opened yourself up to your angelic protection. You have opened yourself up to your spiritual guidance. You have opened yourself up to the assistance from your guides. You've opened yourself up to it. And not only have you opened yourself up to it, you are expressing your gratitude. They love you for this shit. You understand me? The archangels, your, your um guardian angels, the most high, your ancestors, they love you for this. They love you for being in this energy. They like, yes, Libra. Yes, you get it. Okay, thank you. They so happy. They so proud of you. They love that you in this energy, Libra. That's all they want to do is bless you and give you what you deserve. But you got to do your part too. And it's like, they so proud of you for doing your part, Libra. I got chills all over my body, all over my arms as I'm saying that. Yes, you're doing your part, Libra. Your, the all-seeing eye, your third eye chakra is activated. Pineal gland has been decalcified. Okay? All-seeing eye, spirit and release, the seeker. All right? Just surrender. That's it. You surrendering. You opening up your eye, baby, your third eye chakra. 36. Somebody here could be 36 years old. Shit. Somebody could be 63. Somebody here could be a life path nine. Some of you born October 9th, October 3rd, October 13th, October 6th, October 16th. Some of y'all could be seeing angel 999. Y'all could be seeing angel number 999. Yeah, we got 99 right here. We got 36 and 27. That's 99 right there. And we got 13 right here. So, and we got 19. Fuck it. And we got three. Fuck it, man. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. The synchronicities is unfucking deniable at this point. Libra, you could be seeing a lot of angel numbers, a lot of different synchronicities, calling shit before you see it, calling shit before it happened. Like, I'm really feeling that. Like, you you literally calling shit into your life. Like, you just manifesting, man. And it's so crazy because I feel like this shit is happening at a rapid, it's rapid now, like the speed of it, it's like, it's at the speed of light right now, the speed of sound, the speed of light, God speed, like I'm telling you, it's, yo, what, this shit is crazy how I just caught this out, 36, 9, 27, 9, I told you, 13, 13 keep fucking coming out. Somebody birthday, October 13. Shout outs to all my 13 borns in this bitch. What's up, soul fam? What's up, soul tribe? Somebody here born October 9th, October 19th, October 13th, October 4th, October 14th, October 3rd, October 19th. The numbers keep coming out. You got nothing but threes and 19s here and nines. 
You got 99, 13, 3, and 19. A lot of threes, a lot of nines, a lot of ones. That's what you're seeing right now. You're seeing a lot of fours, a lot of threes, a lot of nines, a lot of ones. Somebody here could be born September 27th. Somebody here, like I said, could be 36 years old. Somebody could be 27. Somebody here could be 31. Somebody here could be 33. Somebody could be born October 12th as well. The servant queen, divine, magnetic, valuable. You are worthy of beautiful things, Libra. Keep telling yourself that. Keep telling yourselves that. 110, 10 on the clock. Some of y'all see an angel number 10, 10 as well. And 110, 13. October 13th. October 13th. Keep coming out. This show shit, Libra. This show message, baby. Divine, magnetic, valuable. You are valuable, Libra. You are magnetic. I've been telling y'all that. It's some serious magnetism going on with you, baby. You are magnet for blessings and miracles and opportunities and wealth and all that good shit. You are magnet for that shit, man. You attracting that shit effortlessly. Some of you may like to wear a wing liner. Somebody here likes to wear a gold eyeshadow. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Rebirth, you taking risks. It's time to leave the old behind. Yeah, out with the old and with the new. Your breakthrough is here. You walking into your new beginning. You have walked into your new beginning. That shit is here. It's already here. You already in it. You already in that shit. Leaving the old behind. Severing ties with the past. Severing ties with people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Embracing the new. Surrendering. Letting your guides take the lead. Letting God take the lead in your life. You finding that you at more peace. You at peace by doing this. Surrendering has brought you more peace and harmony. More balance, right? Some of you could be connecting with your inner child. You feeling soft. You feeling things that... You feeling that life is more ease. You feel more at ease. More reassured here. More peaceful, right? Or this is what you're going into. May sweet and soft things find you. You deserve to live a soft life, Libra. You deserve to live a soft life. You are worthy of beautiful things. You are worthy of everything that you desire, baby. Open yourself up to re receiving that. Okay? Sweet and soft things are finding you at this time. Open yourself up to receive it, baby. Surrender. A lot of y'all been through some growing pains. Yeah, an awakening, an awakening, an ascension, a transformation. That shit comes with growing pains. That shit is painful. Motherfuckers don't like to tell they don't like to tell you about that. 112, 22 on the clock as I say that. Some of y'all could be seeing 222, 123, 1234. But people don't like to mention that part. How that shit is painful. Growing is painful. Healing is painful. Ascensions are painful. Awakenings are painful. Transformations are painful. And the fact that you have done this shit multiple times. Oh, Libra, you know all about pain. You know all about pain, baby. Healing patience. Okay? Growing pains. You know all about that shit. And it's so funny how the first card, her third eye is open. And the last card that I pulled... Her third eye is open. Let's talk about the synchronicities. Let's talk about the synchronicities. You have opened yourself up, baby. You have surrendered. Your third eye chakra is fully fucking activated. You fully tapped in, Libra. I mean, fully. Like your spiritual, your spirituality is like, your spiritual gifts could be heightened. Everything is increased and heightened at this time. You feel everything. Your downloads is coming in like no other. Literally, my ancestor visited me last night and we was talking and I woke up like still talking to her. And it's like when I was getting ready, when I was like getting myself to get, well, I wasn't really getting ready, but when I was in the bathroom, you know, freshening up and stuff like that. Well, I guess you could say getting ready. But as I was freshening up in the bathroom and stuff like that, I could still like hear her. And she was still telling me like certain things that I need to know. Some of y'all are really communicating with the other side more than ever. Some of y'all, you have the gifts of mediumship. You speak to the other side. People, you, you speak to your ancestors and some of y'all have mediumship abilities where other people, um, ancestors are coming to you to give them messages as well. And I, I, and I get that too. Like my grandmother had came to me and gave me a message for somebody that I needed to give to 
Like, it be happening like that, Libra. You need to open yourself up to this shit. You have no choice. This is who you are, okay? So your mediumship abilities is heightened. Your spirituality, yo, everything is heightened at this time. It's, it's like, it's open. You you in there. You in that shit. You in it, dog. And there's no turning back. Like, I really need y'all to understand this. Whoever this message is for, there's no, there's no turning back. Once you get to this level, it's no fucking turning back. I tell people that all the time. Once you really tap in, once you awaken, you cannot go back. You cannot go backwards. This is your life. This is what it is. You in this shit, dog. <laughs> like, this is what it is, Libra. So congratulations. You in this shit. You in it. For real, for real. Like, you really in this shit. You understand me? <laughs> like, I need y'all to fully understand that. Because somebody could be like, whoa, 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 this is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. But you built for this shit, you made for it, and you here. So, so just go with it, just roll with it. It's a, it is a lot. It's a lot. That's why you gotta go through certain levels. You gotta go through certain karmic lessons. That's why you gotta. It's levels to the shit. Like God can't just put all the shit on you at once. This shit will kill you. You really gotta go through certain levels, certain portals. I'm telling you, just trust the process. Know that you protected through it all, and keep surrendering. Let spirit take the lead. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Libra. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you at a level right now that you've never been at, not in this lifetime, you know what I'm saying? You done reached a new level, baby. Where you at spiritually is, is different, it's, it's really different right now, it's real different for us, it's, real, it's hitting different, this alignment is hitting different, this magnetism is hitting different, these downloads, they hitting fucking different, they hitting different, it's hitting different, it's so loud, it's so clear. I could hear God so clear, man. Like, I've always felt I've had a, a direct line of communication with the Most High. And when I had my first awakening when I was, like, 17, I had my first true awakening at, like, 17. Listen, it's like I hear God, but it's like, okay, like, you be like, nah, I don't know. Now, it's like, nah, you heard, you heard God. Like, you heard him. He made it very clear. Your downloads is very clear. Like, it's very clear. It's, it's no second guessing that shit. It's like, it's loud. Your download's loud right now. They loud. They real loud. <laughs> they real fucking loud, Libra. It's loud right now. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. Okay, let's get loud. They real loud right now. Your downloads is real loud right now. <laughs> okay, I know my shits is like, boom. It's like somebody fucking blew a bullhorn in my ear. I'm like, God damn it. I heard y'all shit. I'm on it. Like, even, even this morning, I was chilling, and I was like, damn, I got so many personals to do, because I'm catching up on y'all personals, right? And I'm like, damn, let me get up and do personals. And when I came to my desk, I was like, okay, I'm going to start doing the personals. And Spirit said, no, give Libra the message first. Give Libra they message first, and then do your personals. And I was like, but I could just do the personals and do Libra message. And Spirit was like, no. We said, do Libra message first, and then you're going to do your personals. And I was like, all right. So, you know, certain downloads, it's like you got to get them out before you miss it. You got to get the messages out before you miss it. So somebody here today really needs to hear these messages. But Spirit was like, uh-uh, you give a Libra their message first, and then you can get to the motherfucking personal readings, okay? And I was like, okay, okay, whatever y'all say, whatever the fuck y'all say. Like, damn, stop screaming at me. <laughs> Libra, your downloads, your guides, they communicating loud right now, okay? 11. Awaken. I told you, you went through an awakening. This is what, this is what I'm saying, Libra. You had another awakening. We have multiple awakenings. Like, don't get it twisted. You've had, you've recently had another awakening. And it came with some growing pains. It came with some spiritual warfare. It came with some shit. Like, yo, yo, yo last awakening, it came with some real shit, some hardcore shit. But you did it. You did it. You fucking did it, baby. We did it, Libra. We did that shit. You leveling up, dog. 1144. Something significant about November 4th. Somebody important to you. They birthday could be November 4th. I just heard this person could have passed away. So some of y'all could have a some of y'all could have a passed over loved one whose birthday is November 4th. Wasn't that yesterday? Or two days ago? What's today's day? Today the 5th to the 6th. But somebody birthday November 4th that watches over you. Okay? But we got 11, 11, 44. Some of y'all could be seeing 11, 44. You could be seeing 11, 4, 114, numbers like that. Okay, 4, 4, 4, 111, 11, 11. But you leveling up. But I promise you, somebody important to you, their birthday November 4th, 
okay? Whether they live in or they passed away. For some of y'all, this person has transitioned already. They want you to know that they at peace. They love you. They want you to know that they proud of you. They always watching over you. They always protecting you. They want to make sure that you safe at all times, okay? They watch over you. This person watches over you. Whoever this is, I don't have, no, I don't have an ancestor November 4th. Not one that I know of. This message is definitely for somebody, though. November 4th, okay? November 4th. That's an important date for somebody. This is somebody that you could have had a bond with. So for some of y'all, this could have even been a lover, okay? Somebody here could have been a lover to you. So this may not have been a family member. Some of y'all, if it's a family member, take it as it resonate, man. But for some of y'all, it was a lover that could have passed away. This person could have passed away on November 4th or their birthday was November 4th. That's what Spirit just said. They, they said this person passed away November 4th or their birthday November 4th. Somebody here could also be born on the 20th or the 11th or the first of a month. But yeah, this person, you had a strong bond with them, you know, a strong bond with them. But I feel love from this. I feel romantic, okay? Romantic love. But confidence, Libra. Be confident, okay? Be confident right now. It's important for you to be confident. It's, it's important for you to remain optimistic because you leveling up, man. I'm telling... Yo, this level up is crazy. I'm hearing, I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Like, Libra, you could just be wanting to go run. No funny shit. I'm literally seeing somebody take the fuck off. Like, just running, just sprinting. Some of y'all could have ran the marathon, okay? Shout out to the Libras that ran the marathon. You... You, you a bad motherfucker for that, okay? But, um, yeah, some of y'all could be running or exercising or you need to. You need to move your body around. Somebody here could be jogging, sprinting. I'm just seeing you want to take off. But that's how you feel after this last awakening, this last ascension. Like, this most recent one that you went through, it's like your body is ready to just burst into, like, the air. Like, I don't know. I can't explain it, but it's like you just ready to take off. You ready to sprint. You ready to... Just run, just soar. You ready to fly high, spread your wings. It's like, I'm free. So you could be really feeling like freedom or liberation. Like you feeling free, you feeling liberated. I'm hearing 33 freed. Somebody here could literally be 33 years old or you could be in your early 30s for some of you. Or you could be in your mid 30s. Take Just take the messages that resonate. Somebody in their 30s. All right. Some of y'all have ascended master energy, 33. prioritizing myself is healthy and essential you are discovering your true self there's a spiritual awakening within you you are recognizing and accepting your gut feelings and you are in alignment with your life purpose you literally in alignment with your life purpose okay Eleven forty-four. you are making good decisions you are making the best decisions because you making them out of a place of peace and stability okay you finding a sense of stability and peace. You doing the heart and the work. You breaking up stale routines in favor of healing practices. So some of y'all, again, with the working out, you could be living an active lifestyle now, or you need to. Like you really need to put like um, physical fitness and you know, yeah, confirmation. Some of y'all really need to put your physical fitness into your um, routine. Like you need to make the gym a routine for some of y'all. Um, and that's funny because I, I started going back like consistently in June. So July, August, September, August. it's been about five months since I've been back consistently. So a lot of y'all, maybe you fell off for a little bit, but you need to bring that back into your, your routine. You need to be consistent with that shit. Um, cause spirit wants you to move your body around. All right. But you putting your heart into the work you're proud of, okay? It says, I level up my life by changing one thing at a time. Yeah, you changing what needs to be changed. You leveling, you leveling up your life at one, you know, at one. What it says, I level up my life by changing one thing at a time. So you leveling up your life by changing what needs to be changed, okay? 2020 bonds. Twenty twenty bonds. It says I always make exciting and meaningful connections. Some of y'all could be making connections, you know, with people 
while you working out. Like your ass may be going for a walk, going for a run, and you're going to meet somebody that is going to be very meaningful. Like no bullshit. Like you could be meeting somebody, like you just going for a walk, you just going for your daily jog, your daily run, your daily walk. Maybe you walking around the neighborhood, walking around the park. Maybe you even at the gym. But you're going to be meeting people. Like you're going to be meeting people. Like you may meet somebody. I hope... Listen, let me not block my blessings. Let me shut the fuck up. Because I <laughs> I don't like that shit. Like, honestly, like, especially at the gym, like, I hate when it's mad free machines and motherfuckers want to come right next to you and work out. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because I'm going to I'm gonna purposely make you feel uncomfortable. And if that don't work, then I'm just going to get up and go to another machine. And then you still going to feel some type of way because you're going to know I move because of you. Because you're going to still see me finish my workout on another machine. Like, I hate when people... Like, let's just say you on a treadmill. Let's say this your treadmill, Libra. And all these treadmills is free on this side. All these treadmills is free on that side. A motherfucker will get on a treadmill right next to you. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? But some of y'all can be meeting people at the gym. Or you could be meeting somebody while you out working out or something like that. But you just going to be meeting people, though. You're going to be meeting people. You're going to be meeting motivational, and influential, inspiring, uplifting people. Some of y'all could be meeting members of your soul tribe. I've been telling y'all that. You building connections and partnerships. Your, your connections and partnerships are leveling up. And it's going to result in better productivity and deeper emotional connections. These bonds are going to be felt on a spiritual level. It's time for you to celebrate your achievements. It says forging stronger bonds, productivity, and inspiration. You are feeling in tune with a higher power. I always make exciting and meaningful connections. That's what it says. I always make exciting and meaningful connections. Somebody's birthday could be October 20th as well. We got 2020. Some of you, your eye, your eyesight could be getting better. Somebody here could be eating more greens or you taking different supplements that's helping with your vision. Something about carrots as well. Some of you may need to eat carrots if you struggle with your vision, okay? But we got 272 confidence. You live in a purpose-driven life. You are taking actionable steps towards your dreams. You are embracing confidence and hope. You are aligning with your true path in life. You are tackling challenges with conviction. It says everything is always working out in my favor. So you have confidence. You, you confident about that. You confident in knowing that everything is always working out in your favor, Libra. And, and that's why the universe ain't got no, they ain't got no choice but to make sure that everything actually work out in your favor. Because that's what you confident in. That's what you believe. That's how you moving. You already moving like everything is working out for you. And it's like the universe has no, they have no choice. The universe has no choice but to make sure that that's how it is. Because that's what you believe. That's how you moving. And you in alignment. So it's like, it's just going to happen. It's just going to unfold naturally. Just like that. I'm telling you, this is free game. I'm not making this shit up. If you move out here like that and you believe that, you feel that, it's, it's yours. If you can mentally envision it, it's already yours. If you already feel it, it's already yours. If you are, if you know you deserve it, it's already yours.